Welcome to Deep Thought. Always more beneath the surface. Now, in my last episode, I talked about the, uh, gave a brief, very brief outline of uh, like a person, how a personal sexual nature can affect other areas of life. And when I say brief, I do mean brief. It's something I could probably do a four month series on it, seriously. And still, I still not really dig as deep as I could have. But here's the thing though. With everything, there's always more below the surface. It's something to think about with every single thing. A lot of times people see the surface of something or even judge something by the surface, but you gotta go deeper. You gotta go deeper. I use myself for an example because a lot of times people will see uh, different, me in different aspects on uh, my men's channel, my main men's channel. You know, you'll see Rom sitting on the couch, chilling, looking all academic, which a lot of people like, but then you'll see Rom driving in the car and eh, got a little bit rougher edge to him. Car Rom, as people call him, versus Couch Rom. And then, you know, I haven't done Professor Rom on that channel in a very, very, very long time where I'm sitting in front of the bookcase, maybe even wearing some glasses, all right? But here's the thing. There's just more. Like some people will see the car rom and think, oh, that's it, and say something. But I'm like, you haven't seen the whole surface. And that's on my face. A lot of people, they'll see me in a certain light and think that's it and then get surprised when I hit them on some other level. And that's one thing with every person. Like no matter who the person is, I don't make any judgments until I get to see the whole thing. Because a lot of people, they judge by the surface. They judge by the surface. They'll say, oh, this person's this or that. And they haven't talked with the person. And they haven't seen it. And that's just with people. If you talk about situations, you talk about situations, everything, there's always more. Like everything that's going on now, you know, the political season is heating, heating up. Uh, you always have some scandals. You always have something in the news. You have, have something, you know, the economy, the dollar, you know, all this stuff. I'm going to say with 100% certainty, and I will guarantee 100%, you start digging, you say, oh, wait, there's something more going on. There's always something else. There's always something else. We see, like, with, I don't care what the event is, what the news is, there's something we're not seeing. Like if I were to get, if I were to do a political channel and a lot of people have, uh, a lot of people have actually reached out. They want me to do something, man. I, I said, I don't need alphabet agencies paying any more attention to me than they already do. And well, let's just say they figured me out. But um, I could point out some stuff and things ain't weren't the same. I can just say that now. You know, because, okay, like, I'm going to say this. I don't care what side of the aisle you on, or if you like me, you, you're independent. When you look at anybody running for president, I don't care who it is. It could be with the two major parties either side, or it could be with a third party, or as they call them, a third party. There's always an agenda. And I'm going to tell you what, with all the politicians, to have an idea of the agenda the best thing to do, I don't care which side of the aisle, once again, I don't care which side of the aisle, always look at who's funding them. And then look into them. If you can find some way to find out who's funding any politician, look into or supporting them. All right, find them out and then find out, dig deeper. What are they talking about? Then you understand the agenda. Politicians basically are servants. They hit men for other power. But that's how things work. People with real power, they stay under the limelight. Like uh, there was a recent uh, webinar, private webinar, and, and, you know, don't worry about how to get into them. But um, the presenter pointed out something that you don't see anywhere in the news. But the way he pointed it out, the whole situation, you're like, you know what? Hadn't heard of him, but that makes all the sense in the world. <laughs> that makes all the sense in the world, but let's just say, I'll just say all billionaires, all billionaire families, they're not listed. They are not listed. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, because uh, when people get in these magazines, a whole lot of times they, it has to be voluntary. 
So you get some, definitely some who are going to be voluntary or some who are in the news so much they can't help but be listed. But then you have a lot, they just stay nice and quiet and just do their thing and make their money in ways you're not even thinking about. But below the surface, that's the thing. Like you, whenever you see anything, you always ask, okay, what else is going on? I don't care what the situation, I don't care. In a relationship, okay, say somebody uh, cheats or something. Or they get involved with somebody that they shouldn't have got below, got with. It was just bad. It's like, why'd you mess with that person? But you start digging and then it makes total sense. You know, you know that, that woman might have got with that guy who was just totally terrible for her because she had a serious daddy issue. You know, or she got with that bad guy because she was negatively imprinted by a bunch of bad guys. It was always something. Don't just say, well, she's this way. What happened to make her that way? You know, you don't know. And even then, some people who are more on the metaphysical past, spiritual past, they'll say, well, that stuff, that's something that goes back several lifetimes. Now, real quick, I know some people don't believe that, but that's the belief of some people. But whatever the case, it's something beneath the surface. And there's always more. Just always understand that things aren't always what they seem. I'll use myself for an example again. People don't realize, <laughs> people don't realize why I might do something and it just seemed like, wow, what's going on? Why is he talking about that? Why is he talking about that? Everything I do is connected and I have an agenda. If somebody figures it out at some point, I'll be like, okay, you know? But till then, there's always more. And whenever you see anybody, I don't care what's going on, if, unless you know them personally, you can't say, oh, they look like this, this is what this about. You really can't. Like you can have a general idea or a general read, but even that, that takes a lot. And even then, you ain't seeing everything. Or why somebody do this thing or why they do that, you know, you don't know. What motivates people, you know? There's always something. People, a lot of people get caught up on the tip of the iceberg, but don't, if you look at any image of icebergs, there's always a tip. It's not that big. But then when you go below the water and see it, it's a lot more. And there's a lot more to everything. A lot of times the stuff that we see is just the tip of the iceberg. It's not everything that we need to see. I want y'all to think about that, all right? So anyway. That's all I have for right now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.